Hey YouTube! All right, so it is an exciting week this week. Um, I have some stats for you, and then I'm going to announce the giveaway, um, and then kind of just tell you guys what all happened in this week. It was it was a good one. Um, I'm feeling good. I went to the doctor again, so I'll tell you guys about that. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of overall where I'm at food-wise and, and how I've been feeling. So, um, we'll get right into it. So, I'm Sam. I am 32 years old. I am 5'3 three and 3 quarters. And this week, brrr, drum roll. At one point, I was 189. But sadly, this morning, I woke up and I was 190.2. So I saw those 180s, I could almost taste it. Um, that was really exciting to me, but um, yeah, this morning I ended up being 190.2. So super close to getting into that, that next range. Um, I, was, I was happy with, you know, even a, a two pound um, loss as long as I'm seeing, you know, progress. So um, I will take it, I will take two pounds. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to think. Food-wise, this week was actually really good. Um, I didn't have any dumping, clumping, you know, nothing sitting poorly. Um, everything seemed, you know, to go really well. I ate some salads. Um, we had, last night we had pulled pork. Um, that was really good. Um, what else did I eat this week? Uh, we went out for Mother's Day brunch. Um, it was a buffet. <laughs> Luckily, we're at the point where my son doesn't pay. So he kind of definitely eats, you know, what I would have probably normally eaten. Um, so, you know, obviously I had, you know, one little plate and just little bits off of the plate and little bites here and there. Um, but he ate the majority of my plate. So, um, yeah, at this point now that, you know, he's, he's still not, um, you know, costing us money when we go to places, it's not too bad. Um, I do want to talk to my surgeon, um, because I've heard about like a card that, um, you can take to like buffets and things where you can, you know, show them you had surgery and they give you like a child's price. Um, cause obviously we can't eat very much. Um, so I'm going to ask them about that. I actually, um, the other day I was like, oh my gosh, it's like 11 weeks. I'm almost at three months post-op. I should have an appointment coming up. And I actually did. And I did not put it in my calendar. So, um, having to kind of squeeze that one in. Um, so that's exciting, you know, to be able to go in and get all my blood work done and see where my vitamin levels are all at. Um, because some some strange stuff came back on my blood work from the podiatrist actually i guess i was um showing positive for some uh, autoimmune antibodies um so they don't quite know like does that mean like arthritis does that mean like lupus um i'm not having any pain you know my foot and that toe was like the only you know symptoms that i'm having and the podiatrist is pretty sure that my foot is a Morton's neuroma because of where the pain is located and the fact that the cortisone shot does give relief. Um, so the toe is kind of the, the weird, you know, unexplainable thing. And so the fact that my blood work came back a little strange, um, you know, I went to my primary care and they want more blood work because they said that, you know, I'm so borderline, it could be a false positive. So we'll see, you know, what happens there not like stressing out about it too much. Um, I just want my foot to feel better so that I can start running again and then I can, oh, <laughs> there you, you've you met Miss Penelope now. Penelope, boy boy. Um, that's my little chihuahua. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanna be able to run, you know, I wanna start entering races again and you know, just, get that cardio in. Um, running is something that I really enjoy. And so it's been kind of sad to not be able to do that. So that's kind of all I want to get out of, you know, this whole podiatrist, everything, you know, doctor's appointments. Um, so yeah, workouts have been good. Um, 
I did not do any cardio this week, actually. I realized that the other day, I'm like, oh crap, like because I'm not running, unless I go to the gym, I don't really have like cardio at home that I could do because we just have a treadmill. Um, so, I mean, I did, you know, yard work, housework, that sort of thing. And, you know, I don't count that as like a workout, but it, it was me moving. Um, but I did lift weights. And so I was trying to do kind of more hit lifting and supersetting so that my heart rate kind of got up. So that was, you know, positive there. Um, and I'm feeling really strong, which is good. Um, definitely building, you know, my muscle back up and kind of that, that muscle memory is so crazy. Um, you know, how I'll, I'll just be able to like slide back into things, you know, once, once you kind of have a base of, um, of different, you know, muscle groups, it's, it's kind of cool. So anyways, um, other than that, you know, this week has been pretty uneventful when it comes to, you know, weight loss and, you know, food haven't been super adventurous with anything. I do notice that um, I'm, I'm having an easier time like swallowing. So before, you know, I would chew something until it was like practically nothing. And now there have been a few times, Penelope, there have been a few times where, um, you know, I'm eating and I'm realizing like, oh, well, did I chew that enough? But I was okay. So, that's kind of nice and especially like things like, you know, raw vegetables, that's been um, kind of a concern of mine. Like I wanna be able to eat salads and, you know, eat raw veggies um, and that's been a little harder, you know, thus far. Um, so that's exciting that, you know, I'm kind of moving into, I feel like kind of this new stage of, you know, things are sitting well and I'm, I'm not having, I've gone a whole week without any sort of episode. So that's positive because I've been having some sort of like clumping, dumping, you know, something, um, every week it seems like. So that's kind of nice. Um, non-scale victories, you know, like I said, the, the workouts have been feeling really good. I've been feeling stronger and more people are noticing. Um, I saw my realtors actually today, and um, no, we're not selling our house, it was business related. Um, <laughs> um, and, you know, both of them were like, oh my God, you look amazing. And so that was, that's been really cool to like hear. And then a couple of my male employees are like, hey, don't take this the wrong way, but uh, you, you know, you look good. I'm like, oh, thank you. Um, Cause you know, that's always kind of hard for, for people to, to sometimes say, cause they don't want you to feel awkward, but they all know about my surgery. So, um, they know that I'm actively trying. And, um, so that's, that's nice. So things are feeling really good. Um, like I said, I got some clothes out that, you know, I'm going to take on my trip this weekend. So I'm going to take tons of video. Um, and you know, I'll be back by Tuesday so I can do my check-in and everything like normal. Um, but I am excited for that. Oh, one thing that I did do this week that I have not done. Um, did I talk about this in my last video? I can't remember. I had alcohol. I can't remember if I talked about it last week because it was, it was at a, a work, you know, event. Anyways, if I didn't talk about it, um, <laughs> I drank alcohol for the first time. Um, I had a mojito and, um, no simple syrup. Um, yeah, it was just no simple syrup, but everything else was in it. Um, and it was the strangest thing. So I have always been a lightweight always. Um, but I would take a sip and you know, about a minute or so, maybe two minutes later, I would really feel buzz like in my head. I was like, Whoa. But then 10 minutes later I was fine again. It was the strangest thing. And I, I know that, you know, we get drunk a lot faster and we have to be really careful with alcohol. Um, so, you know, I was really just like taking it slow and I maybe drank a quarter of it, maybe the whole night. Um, and I had, you know, my husband, so sorry, I'm so tired. Whew. Um, I had my husband, you know, drink, drink it with me. Um, so that was kind of a new experience. I cannot for the life of me remember if I talked about it last week. I don't think I did. Um, so this weekend, you know, I will probably have a drink here or there, but 
Um, definitely not going to be, you know, my normal girls trip where I'm having shots and going crazy. Um, <laughs> that's kind of something that we do um, when we go to Vegas. But um, yeah, it's just going to be different this time. And I think it'll be different because we're going to Arizona and not Vegas. And we are still going to a casino, but... Um, I think this one's going to be a little more like relaxing um, and just kind of chilling and um, you know we talked about going on a hike and you know just it kind of being a little different than just you know a weekend full of partying um, you know I think we're all in kind of ooh, sure you've been here before so sorry we're all in different places um, in our lives so sorry I had my my YouTube channel open on my iPad here because um, I'm going to announce the winner for my giveaway. So I guess we'll just segue right into that now that I've been so rudely interrupted by my iPad. Um, but I wanted to pull it up so that I get the name right, but I just randomly, you know, kind of closed my eyes, picked a name, scrolled up and down, picked a name. Um, so I would like to say congratulations to Leanne Patrick for winning my $50 Visa gift card giveaway. Um, so go ahead and you can either DM me on Instagram or on here um, and let me know where I can send that that gift card. So thank you guys so much for, um, for entering and for all the love and support, um, you know, it's been, it's been rough, you know, this whole process is not easy. And, you know, if people think it's just a, a quick fix, it's, it's absolutely not like you, you have to change your entire life. And, um, you know, I think getting a hold of any sort of addiction and getting a hold of a, a complete, you know, 180 lifestyle change and, you know, embracing exercise and, and moving and, um, you know, all of those things, especially if you didn't do it pre-surgery, like it's, it's really hard to, to change and, you know, to, um, kind of adapt new things. And I think that's why, um, actually someone told me once that, um, the statistics of the percentage of people who get divorced after some sort of weight loss surgery is 70%. Um, and that's just crazy to me. And I, I do think it's because you change so much. And so if your partner's not changing with you, you know, you want to be active, you want to go and eat healthy and you can't go, like I told my husband, like, I can't go to buffets all the time. Like I can't, you know, we did it for Mother's Day because it was, you know, a good deal. And most places around here were doing some sort of like buffet style, but like, that's not something that I want to go do often. I don't even want to go out to eat often, which we don't, um, because it's, it's hard to do that. You know, I don't have my scale with me. I'm still a little self-conscious of like bringing a scale with me to a restaurant, but um, I've been pretty good about, you know, mindfully eating and, you know, portion sizes, you know, the size of your, your fist, um, you know, it, little, little cues like that, that help you, you know, when you're going out to eat. But, um, you know, I could see if, you know, if my partner wasn't, you know, already like love to work out and love to go hiking and, you know, be outdoors and, and take our baby outside and, you know, do all of those things. Like I could see how that would be really difficult to stay with someone when you are making all those changes and, and they're not, um, or maybe they, you know, don't like that you're changing, you know, who knows? And so that's something that I, I am really grateful, um, to have my husband and, you know, he's, he's been with me at 241 pounds and he's been with me at a, you know, 148 pounds and, like, what was I, 15% body fat. So he's loved me through it all. And so I'm definitely really blessed um, to have him. And I think, you know, without a support group, if, if you don't have one at home, you know, YouTube, Instagram, all of those places, like social media is, is definitely a whole nother, you know, support group and, and family that you can connect with. So um, if you guys have any questions or if you, you know, just need someone to talk to or, you know, if you're having a bad day, um, just send me a DM and um, we can chat and connect. So thank you so much, like I said, again, for your support and for, um, you know, entering my giveaway. And I will see you guys next week for my three-month post-op video. 
Okay, bye-bye now.